Namaste and good afternoon to everybody. I'm Divya Sanghikar from Just for Hearts and welcome each and everyone to our today's live session, rather panel discussion on sports nutrition. So it's such a wonderful topic and I'm so happy to uh, have this session today and uh, we have such an interesting topic to discuss with you all. Uh, sports nutrition, supplementation, performance, there are so many things when it comes to sports nutrition. So we have eminent speakers today with us for this panel discussion and you all are going to learn a lot from each one of uh, these speakers, right? So please keep your pen and uh, notepad handy or if you're going to take down the notes because definitely you're going to learn something new. If you are a healthcare professional, if you're a dietitian, then also you will learn something new or if you are a parent or if you are an individual who is trying to uh, lead healthy life or lead, um, you know, fitness driven lifestyle, then definitely this discussion is going to be very fruitful for you. So before I move ahead, if you have any question, if you want to need, uh, need to know anything about sports nutrition, uh, kya hota hai, kaise hota hai, why, how's of sports nutrition, Definitely ask your questions in the comment box below. We would love to take your questions live during this session. And uh, you know, we will have this interactive session. So on our panel discussion today, we have Lakshmi from Bangalore. So Lakshmi is a very eminent and experienced uh, sports nutritionist. She's based in Bangalore. She has done her master's in dietetics and food service management. And she is certified sports and uh, sports and exercise nutrition specialist. Okay. She is also HOD for Nutrition for Center of Sports Science, Bangalore, Karnataka. She has uh, she is a founder CEO of Lamy Fit, a uh, personalized and AI driven sports and wellness platform. Uh, so welcome Lakshmi, welcome to the today's uh, panel discussion, and we are going to have very interesting uh, discussion today. Hi Divya, thank you for having me. Thank you so much. So glad to be most, on the platform. Wow, most welcome. Then we also have Payal Jori from Bangalore. So Payal is also certified nutrition and she holds master's degree from Banastali University. And uh, hi Payal. So hi, she yeah. is, she believes on holistic approach when it comes to practicing nutrition. And she always tries to motivate her clients to achieve their dreams and goals when it comes to healthy living. Uh, hello, Payal. We are really happy to have you on this panel discussion. Thanks for inviting for this uh, panel discussion, Divya. Thank you. Wonderful. Most welcome. Then we also have Purvi Gala from Mumbai. So Purvi is also BAC in nutrition and dietetics and she has also done her diploma in sports nutrition from Mumbai. So Purvi is having experience. She is practicing since 2008 in Mumbai and she has helped various athletes like sprinters, streamers, football players and cricketers. Uh, hi Purvi, uh, really good to have you on this uh, panel discussion. Most hi, welcome. Yeah. Hello. So most welcome to this our, uh, today's uh, panel discussion. So before we move ahead, we are doing these panel discussions as a part of our Nutrition Week celebration. right? As we all know that first week of September, we all celebrate Nutrition Week Pan India level. And uh, there are so many activities which are going on. Uh, before we move ahead, I want each one of you to share a specific message or specific um, one-liner, uh, what I would like to say, about sports nutrition and the nutrition, whatever scenario we see, um, you know, in India right now. What is that one thing which you would like to tell our uh, listeners today, whether they are sports person, whether they are layman or, uh, you know, whether they are professionals, what is that one thing? So, Lakshmi, can you share... Uh, your perspective on sports nutrition. Um, thank you so much, Divya. You can definitely say that sports nutrition has improved quite a lot and it has, you know, people's awareness about sports nutrition, acceptance towards his has really improved quite a bit. Uh, for every athlete out there, even if not an athlete, even for a normal person, a layman, I would say is 
you know whatever works for one person doesn't work for the other it's the nutrition is different for every person's requirements are different so just don't blindly follow what the other person is eating or what the other person is drinking to increase his endurance or mm-hmm. stamina you know the even for the food matters right so first understand your body mm-hmm. what works sure. for you what not works for you right that is what i would tell everybody so and definitely sports nutrition is something which the sports nutritionist knows definitely better so always take the advice of the you know you uh, just like i'm taking a medicine over the counter doesn't work right because there are doctors for that in the same way yes. for nutrition also there is a sp- person who is qualified who has spent years studying about it understanding it so we are there to help you so please do approach us for any of your requirements don't go by Absolutely. google and read and learn and say let me try this that doesn't work true True, true. That's true. So we'll go to Payal. Payal, what is that one thing which you would like to share with us today? Okay. So in uh, especially in sports nutrition, people are, you know, they started playing, but they are not aware of the right, you know, the right amount of nutrition which is actually required for them. Uh, they want to perform good, but they are because they are not uh, taking a sufficient amount of nutrients, and their performance are getting affected by that, and they are not aware of about. the nutrients which are important for them so um, and they are always talking about the longevity agility and endurance of when they are performing but they are not able to achieve that just because that the lack of knowledge is there in the field of True. nutrition which is very True. very important for not just for sp- uh, sports but li- like whenever and wherever you are performing it is important to understand that the importance of nutrients and uh, nutrition is everywhere right True. so that's the true. beginning to you know even when you are performing or after you perform also uh, after your performance also it is important to you know take care and make yourself aware, aware about the right amount of nutrition and the right variety of nutrition to uh, to so that you can get the maximum benefit out of whatever food you are consuming yeah it is very absolutely important. absolutely absolutely right. totally agree with you So we also have Purvi from Mumbai, and uh, Purvi, please uh, share your perspective on sports nutrition. What is that? Much sure, ma'am. So thank you, everyone, for participating for this event. I would be definitely glad that I can share my knowledge to many people over here. So through my experience, I can say nutrition and sports nutrition is not different. Both goes hand in hand. post nutrition yes, and nutrition you have to put I, i mean basically we put in our day to day life what people yes. feel when they hear post nutrition means it is only related for athletes or for sports people but that's not the case when it comes to sports nutrition it is related to all the nutrients that everyone require okay very very important is nowadays uh, each and every parent is excited to put their children into different types of sports but they aren't aware or they don't know they feel sports is important but at the same time along with the activity nutrition plays a very very important role if you are not right. feeding your kids properly before the activity during the activity after the activity and during the day it is going to rather hamper their growth and development because growth and development is a very important feature basically growth development happens at the uh, childhood age and later on uh, i'm shifting my topic a bit now so later on if we see at the uh, age of adulthood and old age we go through a lot of health issues so ideally the core is you are not eating properly in the childhood because of childhood. that there are problems happening in adulthood and old age and we consider that as because of age hum log uh, we are growing up so the reason we are having all these issues but we don't really understand the importance of nutrient we always think being lean having less fat percentage but that's not the case we need to include lot of nutrients at the growing age ranging from carbohydrates protein fat vitamins minerals another topic i mean just one line or i would even mention especially uh, maximum 90% of people go to gyms right uh, go to the gym yes. what they feel is like i have experienced many sports people even many people who have uh, been going to the gym first thing they will come and ask me is uh, i want whey protein uh i need to have good amount of protein but protein is not the only solution yes. apart from protein yes. apart from whey protein there are lot of other things as well because protein is not only going to be whey protein is a supplement meaning addition to your daily requirement of protein you need to meet 
protein into your food if it is lacking then only you need to add whey protein at the same time very very important is uh, over here if any trainers are there please don't feel defended what i'm going to say the next thing is uh, those listen to as uh, lakshmi ma'am correctly said listen to qualified nutritionists or even the person who has have knowledge when it comes to nutrition meaning if whey protein there is a particular timing to consume whey protein in milk or water depending upon your schedule Absolutely. there is Absolutely. there is not a fixed time there is not a thumb rule or that is not a fixed plan that you need to have whey as a first thing in the morning after workout and other nutrients as well when it comes to calcium and multivitamins etc so just to sum up nutrition and post nutrition both go hand in hand and definitely don't go on internet it just gives you a rough knowledge you need to follow like for example if you have heart heart issues you will not google what medicine is supposed to have you will go to the cardiologist or a doctor same way if you want to have a personalized customized plan for your health to become better for your kids health to become better or or at any age follow a True. proper nutritionist because we have invested our 7 years of study we are not going to get in just that's few true. minutes of internet searching that's true purvi uh, completely agree with you and i will uh, just uh, go back a little bit about whatever you said that we started with kids you know uh, you started your point uh, sharing with kids and uh, that is true i mean in today's time kids have a lot of stress so you know uh, right from the age of 5 or 6 parents start thinking ki isko kis sports mein dal do what activity he can do you know so parents also have bigger plans for them and somewhere uh, they are pampered kids so i don't know uh, parents food habits those are going to affect kids habits so that whole thing really creates chaos so i have a question for lakshmi that lakshmi what do you feel ki from what age uh, kids or parents should start considering sports nutrition or uh, you know that they need to give attention to their kids in terms of sports nutrition if the kid is performing okay. if he is into any sport so what do you think so thanks divya so uh, actually my youngest client you will not believe is like 7 year old so because you know at that age definitely the nutrition is important because it is a developmental age right they are growing up so the nutrition has to be adequate enough first of all their personal individual development physical development mental development at the same time once since they are already already in some kind of a sport so that puts a little bit more pressure on the yes. both the parents also and the kids too kids also so that is the age they want to run around and some but the kids i have seen so passionate also about that sport they do get up like as early in the morning 4 o'clock the swimmer she gets the 4 o'clock and her day in only at 9 o'clock but she mm-hmm. never complains so taking into consideration all the stress they go through all the you know throughout the day the school timings the school work the uh, training period everything so i would say definitely as early as a student the you know the bachcha starts the training right the nutrition has to go uh, just like how purvi said definitely yes nutrition and sports nutrition go hand in hand yeah. just a little bit of extra nutrients additions on uh, concentrating on few particular nutrients so that it aids to that extra requirement that ba- that body de- uh, needs at that particular period of time so any time Oh, you know the nutrition is definitely important and as soon as the kid starts the uh, training period sooner the better you should reach out the nutritionist so that we can actually assess the proper requirements and guide the proper nutrients to be given in on a daily basis because absolutely. as a parent right you know a lot of mo- uh, not I, i'm not blaming you know the parents or the mothers <laughs> obviously we do want the best for the kids right so we want yes. to give everything we want to try this yes. try that so first to see you know to go to a person who knows the definitely who has seen lot of athletes in her or his career and knows what works best for a student or yes. the athlete for that so then definitely she can help you out and start as soon as possible so that the growth does not hinder at the same time they can uh, get that Uh, additional edge over because of the nutrition also 
absolutely and uh, lakshmi you know i mean uh, gen- my general observation like i live here in delhi so i see even within the society there are so many sports club or sports activities which are happening and yeah. uh, after certain time there is a vigorous training i mean even if it is one hour uh, three or five times in a week that is well good uh, training for the kid uh, who is 7 years or 8 years old right yes. so parents really need to consider his Thank nutritional you. intake right yes. uh, the way we say ki um, you know hum for elders also or even for weight loss we say ki you need personalized consultation at least once so if you are considering your kid to have good performance you need to consider him a uh, sports nutritionist consultation that is very true and i totally agree with you so now i will uh, go to payal i have one question for you payal so uh, we are already discussing about kids uh, nutrition and kids performance can you suggest some pre workout or post workout foods which we can give to kids or even for that matter to elders who are into various types of uh, sports okay so they were the first and the foremost thing here is uh, what are the basic goals when we talk about the performance we always think about the goals which we have to achieve during that practice and after that practice so so these uh, these uh, actually practices are somewhat uh, i mean the question itself comes that what is the reason that we want more nutrition to yes. you know to be a better <laughs> performer that is the the answer but the first uh, the basic thing is that to enhance the sports you know performance itself yes. is the first thing which we uh, need to you know understand so sure. for that nutrition is coming in the way to make that thing you know the, the to to fill that gap so then comes uh, the uh, the uh, you know energy which uh, you are consuming and you are getting out of that the output when you are eating something the right output if you are you, if you are not getting then your performance uh, will affect it is for True. any age group it can be for yeah. the kids who are playing and for the you know for the for the uh, for the elders. adults also yes yeah for the adults also then comes the recommended uh, the dish, recommendation of uh, water the fluids which are very very important right if uh, you know if during the session or before the session if you are not uh, you know hydrate your body properly it might affect the performance or some uh, performers they uh, they sometimes get cramps or sometimes they are not uh, able to perform better the reason behind they are not uh, you know having the uh, appropriate uh, that hydration before uh, yes. the practice session yes so it is True. also very important then that delay in the fatigue what happens yeah. is when you are playing you are not understanding that the the requirement of the food which is not fulfilled before the session so it will in fact impact the performance and you will feel fatigue in between the session also right sure. so uh, that is one thing and another thing is that uh, it is very very important that during the practice session also and after the session ends also your body have appropriate reserve reservoirs for your your inside that your body can heal after if there is any you know wear and tear or anything happen in between the you know which is like recovery after the event or during the event or during the practice sessions so it is very very important so a uh, few meals are there which are actually helpful uh, to make uh, that session that practice session or you know the pre uh, workout session uh, in a more mm-hmm. better way you can take it in a more better way so what right. you can have yeah so uh, what you can have uh, you know pre uh, before you are going to start a day uh, i have a best example at my home because my daughter is going uh, uh, for the sports activity and we are getting uh, uh, get up at 4 uh, in the morning so for it is oh. very difficult to yeah for it is very difficult to prepare something and make uh, and you know ask your kid to uh, eat something uh, yeah, during right. that time so it is very important to feed not just uh, uh, bef- just before the practice session but before a night also i have to make her uh, sleep on time and make her understand that she has to sleep on time and eat properly before her practice Absolutely. session a night before Absolutely. so it is important if kids are going for or anyone is going to perform or just for going for simple workout it is important to have something you know a, a day before like night you have to True. eat something yeah to make the proper reserve so that your body can able to perform during that session and uh, can able to recover after the session also if you have that stores uh, that proper stores yeah 
agree totally agree with me yeah. and uh, you know it's not only about any sport like uh, when i also counsel people who are trying to lose weight so uh, for weight loss also we suggest them to do any activity or any exercise so that is again one sport i mean i always try to teach or tell people that if you go to gym that is also one kind of sport that is also one kind of activity you should look at it as a sport and then have that spirit it's not only you know okay you have uh, uh, had a heavy meal and now you are going to burn some calories that attitude should not be there so yes accordingly whatever you are saying if you are working out in the morning your night meal definitely matters and i've seen ki people can improve their performance in next day morning उट मील Uh, what should be eaten? What things we should consider? What do you think, Purvi? Um, pre and post, yes. So when it comes to any physical activity, over here the major difference is, say for example, I will just term it few examples sports-wise. Mainly when it is a cardio-related activity. When I say cardio, means running or jogging or marathon runners. They should not really have a very heavy meal. Uh, or even if they are having a heavy meal when i say heavy meal mean anything grain based so anything if you are having it from cereal when it comes to oats muesli roti or a rice again the type of food what you eat will again depend upon uh, your community as well so there is a difference when it comes to pre workout and a post workout meal on post two workout. factors what type of activity are you doing and what time of the day are you doing that these two things uh, these two things plays a very important role so for example if you are having your breakfast or lunch as a pre workout meal you should ideally have one to one and a half an hour gap why that gap is necessary because while you eat that food your body is going to digest that food so why pre workout plays a important role after all your digestion your body starts absorbing which means when your body is absorbing the food your body is throwing out the energy so that energy is supposed mm. to be used while your Use. physical What's activity is going on okay that plays a very very important role but if you have a early morning workout as file correctly said if it is a 5 o'clock physical activity or a 6 o'clock physical activity you cannot have a heavy meal so just simply like a shake say for example you have a any fruit shake mixed with some cereals say maybe banana or a chiku mixed with oats or say basically something like a smoothie which can be had even half a glass you have like a milk i mean not a shake but basically like a milk that is going to suffice you for the full one hour of your work, of your exercise okay <clears throat> and um, as when it comes to gym again uh, what i mentioned is about a cardio activity but when it is a strength training activity what i mean strength training is for example if you are working out on your own body weight or if you are lifting weight uh, so or if you are doing squat any of those type of activity you need to have some cereal meal again cereal plus protein what i mean is oats roti or a paratha or any uh, or maybe a whole wheat bread or a multi grain bread along with a protein as well when i say protein ranging from vegetarian to non vegetarian option non vegetarian that could be that uh, that could be milk or again these options depend upon the time of your workout ranging from milk curd if you are adding chicken or fish you should have a little longer gap before the activity and egg so basically milk mm-hmm. curd egg you can keep a one hour gap but if you are having chicken or fish it should be a bit longer gap ideally should be the last option to select as a pre workout meal basically and if coming on to after workout meal so now during your workout you have used energy your body is depleted of your energy reserves and your protein reserves so you need to have good amount of carbohydrate over here i am not focusing on fat loss or a muscle gain client i'm just saying a general thing because <coughs> general if i focus thing. on fat loss and muscle gain it will become very confusing so uh, post workout meal can range from a fruit it can be a high calorie fruit say maybe a banana or a chiku or it can be a low calorie food ranging from apple orange sweet lime as well fruit juice can be given 
over here again depends what type of activity are you doing if you have more than 2 hours of activity then only i would suggest a fruit juice otherwise fruit is the be better option over the fruit juice to be very specific not the fruit juice which is readily available in the market or the bottled one because they are mainly added with sugar salt and preservatives so i would recommend even if you are making a fruit juice made at home fresh but not to strain very very important or else it is just the fruit sugar and there is no fiber and when it comes to protein um protein could be ranging from egg or dahi as a best option whey protein can be consumed uh, except those who are having any health issues especially related to kidney issue clients but again just to focus a bit on this point as well many people have that notion whey protein is bad for health i'm joining again another topic ma'am i think so so yeah uh, just no to problem. touch up on this when it comes to a post workout meal whey protein <laughs> is not bad provided how much you consume and in what way you consume either in water or milk and how much quantity that quantity yes. will vary as per your requirement how much your body needs it okay sure. so where uh, your full protein calculation throughout <laughs> the day accordingly your pre and post workout is also decided and lastly apart from pre and post during workout also it is very very important to hydrate yourself meaning consume water no glucon d no fruit juice it is totally a no no if you have that you are rather hamper i mean you're hampering your performance hampering your performance yes yeah so you need to okay, ideally yeah. have water mm -hmm. or in that case few people say for example cannot have more water you can just add electrol a bit into your water in that case and only if you are feeling little low while you are working out then only you supposed to have electrolytes is one of the reason but if your pre workout meal is also not proper could be also the reason that you are not fully energetic during the workout yeah. so there are lots of ifs and buts as well but yeah you need to have water between intervals <laughs> and when you should have water is very important you should not over drink if you over drink you would have a little stomach pain or you would feel uneasy you need to just have that much amount of water to clear your mouth or to make your mouth wet in short during a activity your mouth shouldn't get dry up is the best indicator where you need to hydrate yourself during your uh, activity absolutely purvi completely agree with your points and uh, i think uh, every athlete or every performer has different issues or different challenges when it comes to performing and as a specialist we all can help them in overcoming those challenges and how they can go ahead i think that is what is our approach always and uh, if they also understand that we need to work like this so definitely it helps parents or the athlete who want to take advantage of sports nutrition so uh, i again come back to lakshmi and uh, we all know uh, rather sorry i missed mentioning this that lakshmi is also chief nutritionist for uk based genetic testing lab right so she is uh, taking care of uh, genetic testing and then uh, giving diet counseling based on that So Lakshmi, can you shed some light on this? Key, what is the association, or how it is helping you in the practice? So uh, we all know that you know we do, when we client approaches us, right? Whether it's an athlete or a non-athlete background, we want to try what is working for them, right? So based on their goals, we do suggest food. But how genetic test helps me is so when I once I do the test, what kind of a food? uh is actually is good for that particular person because every person's dna is completely different how the food reacts to each person is completely different because when i people know that protein they want they have to have more when if they want to lose weight but is that really helping them uh people definitely we all know that you know there are certain foods which will help in weight loss but is that particular food really helping them if so then what what will be the best time to do that and what kind of a fitness will actually help me yes. i don't know that you know right we we could see people uh, slogging in the gyms for like 2 to 3 hours without any results of major uh, fast results so that it not just the person is not doing the gym right but it could be the type of the workout he is doing might not be suiting that particular person right 
so for example me it i used to uh, do definitely aerobics and i used to go to gym also but it was not giving me that much proper results so when mm-hmm. i have done a genetic test on myself i could see that there is certain exercise which was uh, helping me that yoga would be the best form of exercise for me so then i started doing that for one and a half an hour and i could see the results so good and whenever i used to eat uh, roti i'm not i wouldn't say that i'm gluten uh, intolerant i'm not gluten allergic because everybody now know that you know they <laughs> avoid gluten at all the, so yeah. i am not but it was not suiting my body also absolutely i realized only that because whenever i used to eat right you know that wo pata hai na garmi ho jati hai jaldi se thoda sa pet thoda sa phoolne lagta hai i used to have that but i never would say that it was so bad also where i had to completely avoid it nothing it was not like that bad but i then realized ki maybe something is bad so the genetic test when i did it showed me that i am uh, mediumly tolerant to that so i am not absolutely you know no for me but at the same time it is not going to give me very great results if i switch to a uh, keto if we consume more so there is small small things and another thing is you know salt right माई बॉडी ना जब भी अचार खाती हूँ पापड़ खाती हूँ ना तो इट आई कैन सी दैट स्पेशली पिज्जा ऑल्सो आई कैन आई इजिली पुट ऑन वेट लाइक मे बी देर इज लाइक फाइव हंड्रेड ग्राम सो दो माइन्यूट थिंग्स विच यू विल कम टू नो थ्रू जेनेटिक टेस्टिंग एंड थ्रू दिस टेस्टिंग आई हैव बीन हेल्पिंग क्वाइट अ फ्यू पीपल वन ऑफ द क्लाइंट इट वॉज वेरी वेरी एक्चुअली वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग केस he was uh, you know there was no family history in uh, at all uh, regarding the cardiac issues he was a very healthy eater uh, properly going to gym everything but still his bp was never controlled oh. it was always fluctuating he was on medication also but still it was fluctuating a lot and he wouldn't understand what was the reason so then i said why don't we do this so we saw that if he was salt sensitive his body is salt sensitive so kya hota hai when a person is salt sensitive right we don't realize that even the achar which we eat or the papad and a lot of people have this habit of eating the masala peanuts right pop in karte hai thoda zyada nahi madam main to bahut kam kha raha hu but even that <laughs> salt was also that was the main culprit for <laughs> so once i said no sir you cannot have these these days and he started eliminating those immediately his bp was under control so wonderful that, yeah so those are the small things which will not help which we wouldn't really think that it would make such a difference but dna True. test that helped us and uh, quite a few people got best of the results with that no uh, totally agree with you lakshmi uh, i have not worked much on dna test but uh, whatever um, you know whatever uh, education or whatever amount of information i have dna test is really helpful if you do it uh, you know uh, first of all uh, correct me if i am wrong that uh, what if we do dna test first or your genetic test first in terms of nutrition again you don't have to do it during the lifetime right it remains yes. up say absolutely right absolutely. it remains same. right on that part. so yes. it's a good investment um, you know lifetime, for kids right? it's a once yes. a lifetime and yeah. it really gives you good perspective on yes. your uh, workout time yes. and your diet and uh, even micros that if you insights yes. on micros ki which nutrients uh, deficiency you might have might so you have. know you need yes. to be little uh, careful and that's a wonderful science so Really nice. Actually, I would so like much. to add one more point there, David. This is more DNA is more like you know it gives us it's a preventive. I can say once huh. you understand how your body is, right? What suits you, what doesn't suit you, you just follow it. So that takes care of it. So, no, absolutely. And uh, uh, for people, those who are uh, not only professional athletes but as a healthy lifestyle, yes. if they are taking up any absolutely. sport and if it is not helping them in achieving their goals. i think this is something which will give them clarity you know on uh, having their right nutrition portfolio and right workout portfolio uh, wonderful this is really uh, insightful uh, discussion or point what we have uh, came to today so let's uh, move on to payal and uh, 
now we will come to very hot topic uh <laughs> jahan pe everybody talks about supplements supplement. and when it comes to <laughs> protein <laughs> protein is the first supplement jahan yes. pe even practicing nutritionists they don't have clarity you know that is where sports nutritionists and the traditional nutritionists that difference comes in the picture yeah. that is my personal opinion uh in the same way just say i feel ki if uh, there is a renal nutritionist or any dietitian who is specialized in renal cases she has her forte like you know she knows ki how to get down her sodium potassium in particular renal cases similar way when it comes to supplements and uh, especially whey protein or uh, protein supplements of any micro macro uh sports nutritionist have better experience and um, they just have to take questions in some time i think that this topic is also very important so let us <laughs> share some uh, points here and i'm sure we all are excited about talking on uh, whey protein and other supplements so pyal what is your take on supplements specifically whey protein okay if i first you say that uh, about the supplements so i always say if it is all depends upon your body and how how much you perform right for a sports person it is very important uh, that they they themselves know how much they are performing and how they are performing if, if they are lacking sure. somewhere and, and they they know that they are, they are doing it but they are not able to achieve to that level which you are they are looking for so there might be some you know gap which they can fill by having some supplements or something but if they are, they are performing well in whatever they want to achieve and they are doing it on you know on the best way so there there is no such requirement to take any supplement but in the you know uh, because of the trend that everyone is having supplements you know whey proteins to to perform better if there is any requirement then it is okay otherwise don't just look uh, you know it is always good to watch uh, what is served on the next table when you go to go to a restaurant it is always good to watch right so yes. we ordered this and they are having this oh, uh, we should you know order this so that way we are you know get into by seeing each other that that person is having you know protein and it might give good result to that person but it it is possible to that it might not give you the the result which that person is getting right True. so first understand your body if it is required then you can uh, go for any supplement but still it is uh, it, it is very important to get this uh, the supplements you know prescribed from a uh, again with a doctor or with a you know specialist so absolutely yeah and uh, because people are now very much you know they google so much and they they know that how much is the requirement of carbohydrates and proteins without <laughs> calculating the protein requirement they are just having the protein so the basic requirement everyone knows that uh, when we talk about protein they say yes we know that 1 uh, gram of you know protein is required for per kg body weight but when it comes to sports the requirement is little more and with that little more requirement they started taking these supplements which we can easily get from the food which we are actually having it Absolutely. right so if they are having good amount of if they are not if they, if they are non vegetarian they can have you know good amount of protein from that if they are vegetarian they can have good amount of protein from uh, the the, uh, the legumes and pulses all the dals and the varieties which are available right but they are not aware of right so this is very important to understand what are the protein sources which are available itself in their you know food in their home itself and they can have them have those foods so that knowledge is there again uh, protein helps the, the, the important uh, point here is that protein helps not just to give you the body muscle or to give you a lean body a good quality protein but also it helps as a water it it helps in uh, making uh, maintain a water uh, electrolyte balance in your body so protein okay. is very important when but how much is to consume is the uh, correct uh, you know you need to need to how much you require exactly yeah protein. so whey protein when you say what is whey protein actually is so whey protein is just you know when you curdle the milk and you get that whey that green color water it is the form of you know whey protein whey. the the, the actual form of whey protein so instead of uh, i suggest instead of uh, buying it from the market you can have your own uh, homemade uh, whey they yeah, absolutely and uh, you know payan uh, i had uh, met one mother uh, her daughter was also into uh, sports she was playing at an international level and she said ki i make whey protein at home so she literally used to take out that paneer and uh, the remaining water she used to boil or she used to use it in different preparations 
and that's a smart way uh, you know exactly. it's the same thing milky hai but usko hum casein and they are just separating and it has a completely different We're function getting the best whey protein out of that yes absolutely so, so there is no as there is no requirement of protein if doctor is uh, you know prescribing you to take uh, if you have any deficiency disease from your childhood or if you have your body is not able to you know uh, absorb or digest the protein then it is requirement to take you know uh, uh, these supplements uh, out absolutely. of your food so otherwise absolutely. there is no use of yeah i will personally not okay, recommend to take away protein if it is not required yeah. okay okay So, Purvi, you had already touched upon this uh, topic about whey protein. Still, what is your take on whey protein and supplements per se? Uh, so, when it comes to whey protein, uh, I do definitely recommend my clients or my sports people whom I have handled. So, again, firstly, whey protein is not a compulsion thing. uh i need i basically uh, what is very important is are you able to meet your protein of the day what your body requ- uh, uh, requires so as uh, pile correctly said that you require 1 gram per kg body weight as per the internet but in sports nutrition the calculation is different it is basically not on the body weight it is on the lean body mass meaning uh, weight comprises of lot of factors your fat muscle water etc so we do not really calculate on the body weight because just from the body weight we will not come to know that weight is out of fat or out of muscle or out of water or in that case bones as well so we mainly calculate only any body part without the fat that is your lean body mass so we basically calculate on that so if your protein requirements are not met out of that then only i suggest them and very important is i calculate majorly the first class protein when i say first class protein meaning animal products in vegetarians it is milk curd paneer these are the three sources when it comes to non vegetarian it is your eggs chicken and fish why i majorly count first class protein because our body requires good quality protein as well apart from the only quantity what always people will google is protein rich foods or how much quantity of protein but we need to even see what type of protein our body is demanding okay so Absolutely. protein as pile correctly said protein is not only for muscle gain but lots and lots of factors when it comes to antioxidants people have it mainly uh, as a post workout or say immunity badega but protein is one of the major first factor which is going to help you to improve your immunity to give you more energy to give you more Absolutely. strength and Absolutely. protein is everything your body is 90% made up of protein ranging from your skin nails hair your hormones everything so imagine how much quantity meaning good quality protein you require so secondly when it comes to protein uh, supplement people only first thing as whey protein but when it comes to what i mean is powders there are various variety in that or various types in that it even ranges from a weight gainer to a whey protein to a meal replacement that doesn't mean everyone needs to have all that weight gainer a person can have which is again not a must factor meal replacement is also not should, supposed to be had by everyone so there are different categories which suits to some people meaning we need to not describe all the supplements to everyone that is customized exactly. how much you require again coming Absolutely. up to supplement people will only think about whey protein but when it comes to micronutrients very very important is not only at the school ga- going people i am con- school going kids i am targeting here but when it comes to for example i have handled many women ranging from 25 years till 50 to 60 years uh, at such a young age they have knee pain back pain issues Yes. and yes. if we check their levels they are low into calcium and many yes. other nutrients as well so for your also that is not considered as medicine that is considered as a supplement why it is considered as a supplement because you are not able to meet up your requirements from the diet what happens is when you are young your body is absorbing 90% of calcium but when you slowly age and that too it will absorb calcium if you are having calcium rich food if you are not having calcium rich food if you are not having iron rich food your body is not going to absorb that you need to have to you know for your body to absorb so uh, it when it comes to micronutrient supplements there are calcium supplements 
iron supplements we are not the right one to suggest that uh, for that would be definitely doctors or the clinical nutritionists but when it comes to micronutrients calcium which is very very important after 45 and very important when you are for females when they are reaching menopause stage because True. many of them are definitely not having calcium supplements and after some years they realize lots of deficiency symptoms of calcium and it is already they have passed through that they have aggravated their symptoms so reversal is not possible they cannot reverse their condition even after having calcium and yes very important vitamin d deficiency b12 deficiency which is very common from 10 of my uh, in my experience from 10 clients eight would be deficient of calcium b12 vitamin d which is so common Absolutely. so these supplements are important but again as i mentioned only important if your levels are very very low say for example if a vitamin d is 6 or 8 and it has to be about 30 then i have to hmm. supplement only with the yes. food it's going to take a lot of months for you to get on the normalized level and especially when it comes to health issues say for example thyroid or uh, mainly thyroid and mainly thyroid in th- people suffering from thyroid are about to have low vitamin d i will not go into technical but generally they are low into vitamin d because the vitamin d formation is getting affected so we need to check on the level as uh, lakshmi ma'am is into genetic testing along with that i would even suggest along with that as well depending upon the health condition depending upon a person who is into whatever of activity we need to even check on the are these uh, nutrient levels as well mainly the blood test so it will be easy for us to plan their diet uh before hand if we are defi- if we know that in what nutrients are they deficient and uh, yeah the other supplements is basically the omega 3 supplements which is not a must again when i say omega 3 you get from your dry fruits that is your almonds walnuts fish flax seed all of that so there is a wide range of supplements and uh, again not to consume on their own as i said weight gain or whey protein meal replacement you would not come to know the difference we as a expert would be able to explain you what is the difference and when are you supposed to have what so yeah Absolutely. there is a wide range of supplements when it comes to micronutrients as well calcium zinc selenium copper etc when it comes to these minor ones like uh, zinc selenium um vitamin e vitamin c we do suggest that for sports athletes because they do require for their recovery period anti and they are very rich in antioxidants so those who are into extremely sports even kids in that case if they are unable to meet the nutrients from their food then they have to be supplemented but these supplements does not have any side effect um no. yeah completely agree with you uh, purvi basically what i feel we as indians we need to change our uh, perspective when uh, we look at food you know food is not just one thing to fill your stomach food is something to get energy and this energy has various aspects okay it's not only about matlab tune bas ek hi roti khai beta aur do roti kha lo it's not like that so you know mothers also exactly. need that wisdom ki uh, uh, if you really want to see your child healthy look at other things as well now we are a time ahead jaha pe we are not only complaining about uh, you know my bachcha is not eating or uh, everybody at home is not eating all the vegetables ya sab khana nahi khate now we are talking more advanced ki to improve your performance whether you are athlete whether you are homemaker whether you are an executive whether you are a ceo whether you are runner whether you are marathoner or a cricketer or any game for that matter how you can excel in your uh, field in your performance because uh, this we are talking about supplementation so why we need supplement my genuine opinion is ki we already have increased workload okay uh, and it's mental also okay mental workload bhi bad gaya hai even small kids they are under mental workload continuous so pressure. we when it comes continuous pressure when it comes to physical i personally feel ki if you are not taking care of your nutrition again that is a stress which you are adding to your life right matlab we all see ki there are so many people who are trying to be lean and thin who are trying to you know Uh, to lose weight they are doing workout but not able to take care of that nutrition person for various reasons 
so uh, definitely we uh, all have to change our perspective and we as a uh, sports nutritionist or diet specialist we have lot bigger role to perform in the society to educate them to share this information uh, with all of them right so uh, before i move ahead tejashi i was seeing some comments or questions if you have any uh, questions uh you can just show us otherwise i have a few more uh, questions already uh, we will uh, go ahead yeah, i would question. like to uh, you know uh, say something yeah please fire yes yeah. yeah so uh, i mean uh, while taking the you know sessions and taking uh, the consultations i uh, got to know few things that uh, the those who are in uh, you know athlete background so what they uh, because of their you know some injury or something they left their profession in between because the injury happened so now most right. of the uh, you know people they are coming from villages they have a strong body and they are you know getting into the, the sports uh, the field so what they are facing is they are because if they are fell bed uh, you know fell uh, you know uh, feed well when they are growing so that injuries True. there are less chances to get those injuries right True. so True. what they can do is uh, from the childhood itself if we make our you know kids to eat you know better way and to feed them and treat them uh, you know uh, in a better way we can make our kids a, a better performer not just in sports uh, i think it is uh, like everywhere uh, absolutely i completely agree with you i mean uh, it's like you know uh, planting a plant or planting a seed yeah. or usko hum jaise jaise the way we uh, allow it to grow up ki wo jitna strong ho jaye uske jade jitni strong ho jaye it will be beneficial for him to have a strong uh, you know wings so right. definitely but uh, when it comes to injury also we can cure or we can work with injuries correct. so injury correct. um correction or when it comes to injury sports injury to people who come in the picture is physiotherapist and diet or specifically supplements like glucosamine can help you in correcting that injury but comparatively so, those who are fed better are uh, having more uh, you know uh, chances are more uh, that they can heal faster than those yes. uh, those are having the childhood deficiency somewhere completely yes. agree i second your opinion right so i would uh, uh, all yes pulvi yeah i would just like to add one more thing supplement word itself explains you you need yes. to add meaning supplement yes. meaning it is yes. not made in your diet so you need to add it it is not a medicine it is a supplement derived from food product and just to even touch up which are missed on so many youngsters especially college going kids as soon as they join up to gym in just a month in two months they want muscles so they will go on fat burner so in that case even college going girls in just two months they want to get lean and they will depend on fat burners don't do the shortcut this is not a supplement as i mentioned sure. supplement comes in to various categories so uh, uh, what i say no boosters or you could say no explode or creatinine uh, sorry creatine or fat burners also come into supplements but that is not a necessity your nutrient exactly. supplements are a necessity those categories not your necessity i had just uh, missed on that so i just thought to touch up on that as well no problem uh, completely agree with you purvi in short supplement should not be chemical laden you know we cannot expose our body to more and more chemicals so please read you know every information usually it is written on the product So right. read key how many chemicals are there or what type of fertilizer and talk to your expert one step list before selecting any product. Mm-hmm. So we have uh, Shailesh Nagarji with us and he is asking us ki, is there any ideal formula for weight consumption as per Indian standards or for Indian people? So Lakshmi, would you like to shed light on this question? He is saying for Indians, is there any standardization? Ki, how much and uh, when we should take weight? so i i wouldn't say it's like you know for particular uh, you know background or a culture the way protein only this much uh, this protein is good or that protein is good it depends on the fact different factors what are their goals what is his current body weight what is his uh, why he needs a protein requirement those are all so many factors to be considered before uh, calculating how much protein is required so that those are the first factors which we need to 
check into that is the really need of the protein whey protein powder which is not uh, sufficient coming from his food then only you can suggest it and uh, more than depend like you know for a gen- normal person who is not at all into fitness or for that matter any kind of a fit, uh, physical activity then there is no requirement to take protein whey protein as exactly right? absolutely so uh, there is no standard set standard that ki you have to take so much whey protein nahi hai aisa kuch bhi nahi hai there is no formula <laughs> so you just eat whatever you are eating food yes being physically activity physically active definitely a best thing for any person of any age or any gender for that matter and definitely yes once you start your workout it does let us say if your person is a obese right so we do mm-hmm. have certain formulas to come out for that requirement of the uh, amount of protein to and yes. by that particular person because see if a person is 50 kg there is a requirement of protein is so much if a person is 70 kg then his requirement of protein is different so there is no set you know it is ke liye indians ke liye itna protein chahiye americans ke liye itna chahiye ya yeah, south indians ke liye itna and north indians ke liye nothing like that that is not there sir uh, is is just a formula we need to calculate we have to do a body analysis for you yes take your blood parameters also for any of the consultations right we actually most of most of the dietitians i think i can definitely are uh, say for all of us that we do start our counseling only with a first a blood test without yes. blood test hum kuch karte nahi hai aap agar medical background aapki medical history hai ya nahi hai doesn't matter pehle hum even aap weight loss ke liye bhi aate ho ya weight gain ke liye bhi aate hain still we do a blood test then only we say go ahead ki seeing that okay this person is devoid of any of the medical conditions but he still has these deficiencies uh then we do a body analysis also then we do a consultation understand your lifestyle understand your requirements then we come up with a requirement for each and every nutrient not just protein we will mm-hmm. say this is how much carbs you have to eat this is how much total calories you should be eating uh because first thing people will think is fitness hoga to protein zyada kha liya uh, weight loss ho gaya <laughs> fat ekdam se band kar diya no it doesn't work like that there are all these so, three are equally important carbs protein fat everything is important so we come up with the requirement for you saying that that is what we you know we learned during all our graduation all our masters degrees we have done quite a few cases on case studies and throughout our experience also this is what we do day in day out Absolutely. Absolutely. The requirement and say that this is the protein requirement. Let us say you have a 16 grams of uh, protein requirement, but you are through food only this much is you are able to have. Especially for vegetarians, right? To fulfill that protein requirements becomes little bit difficult. So that's where then we will definitely say that yes, you can go ahead with with the supplement. And even for athletes who are continuously on the run, they go uh, mm-hmm. you know for different tournaments they go. So exactly. sabhi definitely we do so just because that becomes the easier part for them to carry it mm-hmm. along with them. So that consumption becomes faster. So the you know there is a golden period, right? Where immediately after the post workout you need to take that protein. So carrying that protein powder along with you definitely helps. But again, how much amount? Please let us know that. You see, we tell you that this is what you need to eat. We absolutely, Lakshmi. Uh, I totally like. Uh, your approach. Uh, I would just like to answer Mr. Shailesh that you know for Indians, uh, especially common message what you will get from dietitians is just look at the way you're forming your meals. If you can segregate protein-rich meals or protein-rich foods in your day-to-day life and carb-rich foods and do the right choices, as a normal individual, you might not have to think about the supplement. Right. Uh, that is a very easy thing to learn and uh, we have lot of resources various things we do on our channel also you will get lot to learn about protein rich foods and uh, how to select that so please have that review maybe talk to some dietitian and learn the what are those protein rich foods for yourself then if you are an athlete if you need a specific performance requirement then you can consider about the uh, supplementation so i was uh, able to see one more question on uh, the screen So it is by Anju Saini. So uh, Mary saying um, it has been said that seventy percent of whey in the market is fake. 
how do we check if genuine way is available can we all shed light on that also so who would like to answer on this uh, purvi you would like to talk on this brands we will not take brand names but we will just talk about uh, you know how they can uh, be sure that yes this is a good quality purvi So, so uh, I would suggest very very important is don't buy from any shop. You need to uh, basically buy from those places where um, when it comes to, um, for example, uh, people go and buy from some out uh, shops or mainly for online. So if so they are buying online, I would suggest to go on their company website and then buy. So then you are sure that you are getting it from their company itself. Uh, yes. In case of uh, shops, if they are buying, you would see every supplement would have a barcode, okay. And in the mobile, if you see in your Play Store, there are a lot of apps which uh, scans your barcode and will let yes. you know whether the product is authentic or no. So in that case, how it will do is if you are uh, scanning your barcode and you, when you just put it on your barcode, same way how you do Paytm payment. When you just scan the barcode and the uh, name of the person comes in, the same way. When you scan the barcode, the name of the product comes. So if that is happening, then according to my experiences, then the product is definitely is right. genuine. In case if you are going to buy a uh, to a offline store, and the second thing, a uh, third thing would be that is the last option. Uh, say for example, just an example, if I am buying a whey protein and if I am feel if I am getting results and I don't have any side effects or so, so then we are assured that a particular shop or that a particular that is suiting me so that is definitely not duplicating and uh, but online if you are buying strictly from a uh, website if it is offline a proper authentic store because they do even keep their uh, company thing also to show that we are from a authentic uh, shops yeah, only yeah. so for whichever company in that case they do keep their cards as well and you can even as a second check up you can even uh, scan the product with a barcode as i mentioned There are a lot of apps available where you can scan the barcode. Yes, I agree with you fully because saying, yes. yeah. Can I just tell you what Purvi is trying to say is I think rather than going to an aggregator and buy right, who has yes. multiple products, uh, more like an e-commerce website. I would not do because there are multiple dealers, third-person dealers over there who will be selling the products. Where we cannot exactly. say that this is directly come from the uh, manufacturer okay. himself. and there is no medial middle person involved and definitely there is there will be adulteration included in that yes. so that time it would be difficult and because online we cannot scan it so that's what she is trying to say ki avoid that so better off you go with a known brand which you have already used or at least i'm sure a lot of gym trainers also nowadays uh, suggest quite a few brands so at least exactly. take their word or otherwise definitely we are definitely the best but otherwise at least it's a known person who has already used the product and always buy from that particular authentic website who who is actually the manufacturer that the company website never go, yeah. yeah never go for a newly one which is just into because a lot of every day we see new brand coming up right so we don't know which is good which is not good for all i know the new brand which has come up only last month it might be good i'm not saying that but you need to first see ki because you it is your body you are ultimately you are eating it so it is going getting into your body so you are responsible for it what you are putting into your body so please be careful while you are choosing whatever absolutely uh, totally agree with you lakshmi and purvi and one small thing i would like to add here is uh, what lakshmi has said ki just because that whey protein or that supplement is available at cheaper rate on xyz place don't go for it yes okay uh, nobody can have a trust ki what sources or if it is duplicate or not nobody can take a call on that right so it is something what you are playing with your own health and when it comes to supplementation you really have to be careful uh, yeah. because that is something additional what we are going to add along with healthy diet okay so let us be very cautious that it is not going to harm us okay so always uh, go with somebody's opinion or if someone who is already taking these supplements uh, so you know recommendation i think that is uh, more important here so such a wonderful uh, discussion we all are having and i still have whole list of uh, questions with me but we are running out of time and it's already over uh, one hour what we are discussing about sports nutrition 
I think that now is the time to stop here, and maybe probably we'll have this kind of panel discussion once more when uh, you know we all can connect and uh, explore more and more about uh, these uh, supplements and what we can do in uh, sports nutrition, right? So before we sign off, uh, any message or anything, uh, if you all uh, want to share with our viewers, uh, we would love to hear from you all. So you can let us know. Lakshmi, you want to share something? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, get better every every day. That's our uh, motto. So, yes. be physically active. Though this is a you know difficult time for every one of us or there toward the world. So, don't just because you're working from home or not getting out much, that is not an excuse for you to not be physically active. Wherever you are having, even if it is a one bedroom apartment or a two bedroom, whatever, I'm sure you can. Have that space to be keep yourself physically yes. active, right? So that's the best thing you can do. Uh, keep yourself physical activity is the one which will definitely help in increasing your immunity levels, and that's the best needed thing right now. So, and whatever food, just you know, stick to the simple meals. Keep it healthy. That will take you a long way. Yes, thank you, Lakshmi. Payal, what would you like to share with our followers? Okay, uh, so because I am more focused, focused when it comes to nutrition, I'm more, more focused on you know uh, child nutrition because okay. uh, they are the, they are they are something yes. which we are forcing them to eat. They are themselves uh, they are not aware of what nutrients and what food are. So I always focus and I always you know counsel parents to make the kids uh, you know eat in the better way so that they can perform better in everywhere, not just in sports, but they have to perform better in their academics as well. So, I mean, parents, they can only teach their uh, kids to be a better, you know, uh, eater than uh, eater. Uh, the kids with the themselves. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Payal. Purvi, what Thank message you. you would like to give before we sign off? Yeah. So, in short, I can just say that nutrition is a vicious cycle, meaning uh, your nutrition starts from the time mother conceives. So, if mother is healthy, baby is going to be healthy for the full nine months. That doesn't mean like generally what we have seen our forefathers have done. Obviously, they were more healthy at that time than what we are because there was a lot of physical activity at that time and the food was not junk food and fast food. But uh, in the first trimester, uh, you should not be eating like you're eating for two. So ideally, your nutrition starts from the time you conceive till your whole life. It is not a particular yes. state or at children age, or when you are pregnant, or when you are lactating, your nutrition is your life cycle. So it's a vicious okay. cycle. If any of those stages are getting hampered, so where your health is getting hampered. At this point True. of time, people have got aware that nutrition is important, but only to few sectors. Which one? Uh, those who are suffering from heart, any health issues, mainly heart issues, diabetes, hormonal issues, female hormonal issues, thyroid, or very, very common, once you get lean or once you gain muscle. Nutrition till it is just restricted to these few areas. So I would just have this message to everyone. Nutrition is not temporary. How yes. we live to eat food to be healthy, that is the way nutrition starts when you start thinking to eat food. So that is my Absolutely. small message to everyone. It's a vicious cycle. Nutrition is a vicious cycle. Thank you so much, Purvi, for such a wonderful uh, message. And uh, I hope, and I hope all our viewers uh, they have enjoyed the session. Uh, and we are almost about to complete the session. Before uh, signing off, I would like to tell you all that tomorrow also we will have one round of uh, panel discussion where we'll be discussing about career opportunities for dietitians. A very hot topic and. Uh, close to hard topic uh, when it comes to career opportunities for every dietitian because we all know we all have come through that struggle and uh, you know yes. we have our own journeys so tomorrow again three o'clock we'll be discussing about uh, career opportunities specifically young dietitians who are just beginning their um, career so definitely share a word about it or if you have kids who are looking out for some career options, so how this dietetic world or nutrition field will be, you can definitely explore that. Uh, so we all will connect again tomorrow, 3 o'clock. Till then, thank you so much. See you all again.
थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू